Yo, what's up, guys? Today, we're watching the finale of the TED Show. And if you guys want us to watch A Million Ways to Die in the West, get this video to 25,000 likes. And if you want to see our full commentary and lots of other exclusive content and also vote on the things that we watch next on this channel, then check out our Patreon. Subscribe. These cookies look like shit. Dude, she hasn't put the icing on yet, bro. Got her some slack. She's gonna make those awesome frosted cookies that you see at Walmart at the front of the store. Dude, I swear to God, the last time we talked about those cookies, you said they sucked. So you switch up like that, it's fine. But like, I said they suck. I love them. You are merging me and Jack. You know, I never understood that word. What word? Homophobe. It's prejudice against gay people. Yeah, but like, shouldn't it mean like scared of gay people? Yeah, yeah phobia. God, I can feel the writer's room right now. This is genius, bro. Dude, Ted fell off, bro. Shut what? This up, is funny. Dude. This is funny. What do you mean? <laughs> Wouldn't I see a gay guy and be like, ah, a gay guy, run! This is what I do. Like, this is what makes it relatable. You know what I mean? <sighs> so, Bollywood. Say you guys? You guys did pretty good with that Bollywood stuff. That uh, RRR movie? That was gas, bro. I really enjoyed it. Try to name another Bollywood movie Maddie. challenge. Maddie, Susan has a choir solo today. I'll be at the next one, all right? I promise. Jesus, it's 45 fucking minutes. You can't do this for her? Are they not a gay couple? Like, the beret is screaming lesbian to me right now. I don't know. I think that might be where it's going. Definitely not because I saw spoilers. Oh my god! Kor ruins the Ted show for his friends. Part 600. Bro. It's been in our basement for years. Yeah, but I've had him since I was a kid. That means a lot to me. You named your dump truck Dennis? Keep my truck's name out your mouth. <laughs> Yeah, and Tiny Tim's condition was pre-existing. Scrooge shouldn't have to cover it. Exactly. Can I play with the truck? No. Ah. Oh. Everybody fucks with this truck too much. It's a nice truck, to be fair. It's a fucking fire truck. Oh, church time, bro. Is this what a Christian church is like? I've never been. It's boring. It's boring as fuck. I am not feeling Jesus in me right now. Where's the Texas mega church people hanging from the ceiling and the guy getting carried in on a wire system, dude? You're talking about a guy who came alive out of nowhere, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, me. Oh my god, he's equal to Jesus. I'm just saying, I'm just saying I might be Jesus. I might. I'm, I'm not saying for sure, I'm just saying it's a possibility. I, I, I might be Jesus. That is incredibly disrespectful. He sounds like too much of a real, like, preacher. All the churches I went to growing up look like this guy. He's he's up late thinking of Dennis, bro. That's hot. No way. He actually is, I think. Wait, is this just gonna turn into a fucking, like, Scrooge parody? He's gonna see a star and he's gonna go, I wish my daughter wasn't gay. <laughs> You wished me to life, fuckface. I can't fucking believe it. That's fucking amazing, dude. I'm trying to understand how this episode's gonna come together. What's mean? Is the lesbian couple just played straight? Well, I would hope that's not played straight. <laughs> <laughs> it also felt like I had to pee, but I couldn't. Yep, same here. Must be what happens when toys come to life. <laughs> what? It's a regular event. Bring these to the priest, bro. The priest is gonna have a mental breakdown. Like, if you wish upon a star, you can bring someone back to life. So they could just bring, like, a Jesus, like, toy, and then the priest could wish upon the Jesus toy to come to life. Be fucking genius. Look at this. They're giving free visas to tech workers. Oh, fucking A. They're coming. Who? Immigrants. <laughs> Racist truck toy. Now the niece just has to argue with two people. Hey, I don't care if they're purple, green, or orange, all right? I just don't want them black, brown, or yellow. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh my god, dude. The truck's even more racist, bro. He's even more racist. I am used to taking this crap from Maddie, but I'm not gonna take it from some random piece of shit that just came to life. No offense, Ted. All good. Ted's like, I'm not racist, bro. Like, you don't gotta include me. What? Wait, the gay people that were definitely gay are gay? What? Wait, she's gonna- No way, no way she- Oh. Stop watching them, little bro. She's raising an eyebrow like The Rock. Why is she coming in? Why is she coming in? Is she gonna join them, bro? Why was she giving them the eye like that? We're a couple. Yeah. Like, dating. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're just very good friends. Her brain is really good at rewriting things to be what she wants them to be. Once you get a lobotomy, your brain just allows yourself to do that. It's like a it's a superpower. God, why does she close the door like that? Just close it, man. Oh my god, it's like creepy, dude. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give- What, what was that first part? Uh, behold, I come quickly. 
Jesus said that? <laughs> Behold, <laughs> I come quickly. It's like the easiest joke. See, why are we watching TV shows? We could just be roasting the Bible for like 50 episodes. Yeah, let us know if you want the Spilling the Milk Bible reading. Spilling the Milk Bible class every Sunday. Hey, you know, I hope the PC thought police over at that college don't kick you out for praying to Jesus. You know, 70% of the world doesn't even believe in Jesus. I'll get him. <laughs> I'll get him, bro. Uh, I'll get him. I believe in Ted. Sarah and I are a couple. Call it, Johnny. Motherfucker. <laughs> they bet on it. Of course they fucking knew, dude. You're gay? Fluid. What the hell does that mean? It means that I'm attracted to personalities. You're attracted to personalities and you picked her? <laughs> <laughs> That's base. You gotta give him that one. That was pretty good, Dennis. And I'm so sorry that our sexual orientation is so offensive to everyone. Merry fucking Christmas. And a happy new year. And a happy gay year. I just think it's really fucking shitty and unfair that you can't accept me for who I am. Hey, it's Christmas Eve, not Christmas Steve. <laughs> Bro. Bro, in the middle of the sad fucking gay talk, it's so much more serious than the Ted movie. Cut from this to Mark Wahlberg covered in c Like, how is this the same franchise? He knocked like 20 more times than he needed to to get her attention. He's standing right next to the window. That's just who he is, though. He's over the top. He's like Haikyuu, bro. One dream. That's fucking One Piece. What are you even talking about? But I'm not I'm not one of those guys like your truck that you made come to life <laughs> I'm not like one of them trucks. I don't want to be a shitty uncle I'm sorry damn that's real Ted gets too real dot dot dot. Yo, this is a really good episode. You're you're invited to Christmas And, I, and I, I'm sorry that I called you a terrorist. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you Well, what about Dennis? Are they all gonna kill Dennis? They're gonna beat him to death? They should like melt him down into a plastic, turn him into a water bottle and drink out of him. Ah! Oh, oh shit! <laughs> He's trying to kill Maddie? He just home alone his bitch ass. What the fuck are you trying to do? Kill me? I come to life for you when this is the thanks I get. Bro, this is the thanks the I, I get. get. I have thoughts of men. No way. The truck is gay? You're saying I'm gay. Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> this show is fucking mental. Dude, Seth MacFarlane's a genius, bro. <laughs> that, that hug looks so uncomfortable. It's like made of like sharp, hard edged metal. Like that cannot be pleasant. So I guess this is it. Yeah. They're sending him on a gay rite of passage, okay? He's going on like a gay Mormon mission, bro, to find the best d in the land. Goodbye, Bennett. Oh the my god, he has the LGBT flag! Honk if you're gay, bro. Honk if you're gay. A recording studio. Be a star. Oh, because he's so good at singing. I figured you, you could sing. You know, you solo. Oh my goodness. Aw, that's so sweet. He's come so far. Accepting gay people will fix your marriage is the lesson of today's episode. Is that true? Okay, okay I'll stop. I'll start hating gay people. To break up with your wife? My wife, she's been a little annoying lately. Mother and child. This show is wholesome. The movies were pretty wholesome too. They never reached anywhere near this level of seriousness. All right. We have come to the final unit here in health class, sexual education. They end on a sex ed episode? Is Ted gonna lose his Ted Ginity? Who can tell me what the safest of all is? None. Celibacy. No sex, no sex. Let's start with the female reproductive system. It's science. It's science. It's, it's, science. Science. it's literally a science. science. That was like sex ed for babies. Talk about Masturbation and leave out edging? <laughs> what? When? With who? A few weeks ago, with each other. We didn't want to be the last ones in school to lose our virginity. No, no, John! <laughs> Andrew, I thought you were gay. Might be. I just know I'm not a fucking loser. This is too real. Like, oh god, I'm actually cringing out my fucking skeleton right now. Dude, do you guys think John's gonna fuck the, the hot girl who gave him the Shit, weed in the first episode? Um, no. No? No. No. Fuck, I've never even kissed anybody. You kissed Michael Dukakis at that parade when you were nine. Yeah, that doesn't count. He kissed me. 
It was passionate enough that they ran it in the paper. What? what the fuck? What kind of paper is that, bro? Who is Michael Dukakis? Michael Dukakis is the former governor of Massachusetts. The governor kissed him on the mouth? What a crazy joke. Well, I, I think he's interested in becoming really active. What do you mean? Why do you have to have this conversation? The mom probably doesn't even know what s is. Guys, there's nothing shameful about human sexuality. You've never been in a strip club when the lights come on. Neither have I. <laughs> <laughs> when you're older, you're gonna have your first time. Why do they play this show so straight? I'm surprised. I want it to be better than my first time. God, no, please don't. I was 19. Please, please, oh please God, tell us. We need to hear this. We need to hear it. Yeah. He was too upset. He just kept yelling, the hippies have won. The hippies have won. They've won. They've won. I hope this helped. <laughs> the hippies have won, bro. That is a terrifying fucking scene. He's saying that like the British are coming. Got it. Oh, hell yeah. All right, go on, put it in your bag. Hey. Oh my god, dude, they took his weed, bro. No, oh my took god. His weed. Oh shit, John. Holy shit. Dude, what, a, what a guy will do for his weed, bro. Why would you be wearing the most conspicuous bright red hoodie if you're planning to steal something? No, I was just reacting in the moment. It's not that big a deal. No, that took guts. It, that's what Mark Wahlberg would do, though. Because if Mark Wahlberg was on that 9-11 plane, he would have stopped that shit. He would have done something, bro. Would you maybe want to hang out? See a movie or... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. This is how it happened to me. It's the same way it happened to me. You fucking tackle the guy for weed and a woman instantly came up to you? Exactly, exactly. Johnny, look at the big picture. This is your chance to have sex. Well, you think so? She called you cool. Oh my god, he's such a bad influence. Don't give him expectations, bro. You're not supposed to have any expectations because then that's all you're going to think about. Maybe these? Ribbed for her pleasure? Good choice. And you want to know a trick? You turn it inside out and steal the pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> steal her pleasure. That's the greatest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. No, actu actually, we, would, we were just leaving. Oh, please don't go. One of the joys of my job is pairing the right young man with the right c With the right c Get away from him! This is so weird. I hate to say this, but I think this is chill for him. Hey, you! Get away from that kid! This guy is a s offender, bro. Dude, this is the second time that John has been like s with an adult, bro. That's fucking insane. Trust me, all right? Now take it off. Okay. Dude, I swear to God, they be making bras complicated on purpose just to embarrass men, bro. I, I saw one and it had a fucking combination lock on the back, bro. The chastity belt. All right, now let's pretend you're a Randy executive and I'm your secretary. Go! Mr. Bennett! Dude, head in the bra is fucking hot, bro. Head looks hot with the bra. Uh, hi. What the hell are you doing in my bra? The question is, what am I still doing in your bra? <laughs> yeah, if I may count it, John has been himself for 16 years and raked in exactly zero... Am I getting that number right, John? Zero? Yeah, yeah, zero. I think... I think I'm gonna do it Ted's way. No! 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 no. That's not what Frank Sinatra said. I did it Ted's way. Teddy, we're missing something here. What? How am I even supposed to get to the set if she doesn't have a good time? I mean, I haven't even planned the fucking date. <laughs> Dude is doing everything backwards. This is gonna be such a funny train wreck. Where's John? He awaits you on your flying carpet. <laughs> what? This has got to be a cutaway gag. This has got to be a cutaway gag. No, no way, it's real. Way, it's dude. not a cutaway gag. I have kind of weird taste in movies. Like what? There's this really good bad movie from the early 80s called Flash Gordon. Yes. No way. It's a dream. It's a dream. It's a dream. It has to be a dream. Oh, shit. Girl, it's oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. Johnny, Johnny, you alright? Talk to me. Did I say <laughs> Did I say How are you feeling now? Not too bad, actually. My arm is a little No. Him. That's the principal in iCarly. Principal Franklin. That's Principal Franklin, bro. Son, this isn't my first night in the ER. I saw the carpet burns. I know when kids have been a whole new worlding. <laughs> <laughs> this is a thing? It's a thing? I was supposed to go to the prom with Danny Hirsch, but his acne has reached a point where I need to take action. Would you maybe want to go? You're dumping your date because his acne is bad? That's fucked. That's the most beautifully superficial thing I've ever heard in my life. That's so evil. You are looking at a guy with a whole lot of experience. Uh, uh, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm still sore from yesterday, you know? <laughs> oh. You fumbled it so badly. She asked you to prom, bro. This sounds like a good, like, I'm going to try this next time I want to get ask a girl out. I'll be your driver, bro. Can you be my Aladdin? Oh, okay. You can be Jasmine. <laughs> I'm sure you've got lots of other girls who'd love to go with you. Maybe you asked one of them. Sorry. Wow, your gay cousin was fucking right, you dumb fucking bitch. Go over there tonight, stand on her lawn, and declare your love for all the world to hear. That will definitely end very well. Yeah. I like that they just skipped that scene. They spared us the cringe. I, I appreciate Seth for that. I was very grateful. This isn't just about sex, okay? How many times do I have to stand here and tell you I really like her? You said that like once, maybe. You said this right now. Maybe it was like an off-screen type of situation. If you want to go to the prom, you can do it without me. This is very much like the second act low point in the first Ted movie. No, it isn't. He's kind of blaming Ted. No, no. That was evil. What you just did was evil. That was genuinely evil. No, it's not. No, I'm not. 9-11. Not, what's 9 plus 10? 21. Skibbity toilet. Skibbity toilet. No, I'm not. We get it. 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 There are no junior proms when you're an adult. You miss this one, that's fucking it. The rest of your life is spending all day breaking your back and all night standing at a toilet peeing in Morse code. Peeing in Morse code is a bar. Good dad moment. He basically just said the pain you are experiencing now is some of the most pretty shit. It's inconsequential to what you will feel for the rest of your life. No prom looked this good. What are you talking about, bro? Looked like Connor Eats Pants was in the fucking middle of the dance floor for a second there. Oh my god, he makes his appearance for his acting debut. He looks like he could be like a high school background actor. You know what I mean? Like, it's true. He's short, he's got a baby face. He should be in the show. I'm really sorry for laying into you like that. No, man, I'm sorry. I fucked things up between you and Bethany. I should have just kept my big mouth shut. Oh my god! I should have just canceled Big Mouth before it got eight seasons. It doesn't have eight seasons, it only has seven core. It's getting an eighth season, is it not? Who cares? Hi. So, dude, he should just start rapping J. Cole wet dreams word for word right now. And then he'd just say that he was a virgin. Like So you lied to me? Well yeah. I'm sorry. How do I know you're not lying now? I'm not. I'm not, I swear to God. He's gonna be like, yo, DJ, put on the entire Flash Gordon filmography right now. I need that mic. I got something to say. Sorry, it's against the rules. Unless it's for true love. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Why? Why does it work like that? What's the rules? Just have a real quick question. Who here has had sex with me? <laughs> I was too embarrassed to admit it until tonight, but it's the truth. This is so painful. This is so painful. I bet there are more of you out there just like me. So let's stop being embarrassed and let our voices be heard. Who out there is a virgin? Virgin and proud, virgin and proud. No one, no one raised their hand. <laughs> Nerd! <laughs> I can't believe you just did that. Oh, yeah, it was pretty stupid. Yeah, very stupid. That's exactly what Flash Gordon would do. It is badass though he would do that. He did embarrass himself in front of the whole school for her. But it took guts. I love guts from Berserk. I could be your Casca. Wait, you're a virgin too? Mm-hmm. You know, I don't think I believe you. Is he gonna make her go up there? <laughs> <laughs> This show is so wholesome, bro. I can't believe this, bro. It is beautiful. It is wholesome. Ted is too wholesome, bro. The Ted finale made us cry. Of course, start crying now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cry after the recording. Do you have a c Yeah, yeah. Grown up at the pharmacy helped me pick one out. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> Oh my god! What? What? What's wrong? Oh no, she's gonna no. have to save it! It's like his mom! No! It's the same! No. Time's a flat no. circle! He's no. just like his mom! No. But the glove didn't fit, guys. Let's be honest. The glove didn't fit. If the condom doesn't fit, you must acquit. It's just like what happened with my parents and Nixon. Oh my god, I'm my mother. <laughs> <laughs> but at least you got a girlfriend now. Sorta. Of. Well, what do you mean, sorta? Of? Bethany's spending the summer in Italy. That sucks! <laughs> that the is gonna be right where you left it. Italian guys are famous for their sexual restraint and respect for women. <laughs> <laughs> Stepping on his wound right now. And junior year was weird, huh? It sucked, no doubt about it. Bro, senior year's about to be crazy. You know they put in that junior year line because they want to remind people, if there was a season two, we still have another year of high school, okay? Please give us a season two. Please. 
please, please. Well, season two isn't confirmed, bitch. It's fucking huge. It's gonna get season two. This is like the only like reason people are talking about this fucking dead streaming platform. Thunder, thunder buddies. buddies, bro. They're gonna do it. Oh my god, they're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. Fuck you, thunder. Yeah, you can suck my. D Yo. They did it, bro. <laughs> Oh, dude, Simpson was a quitter of all charges. Happy ending. See? Wholesome show. The real killer is still at large. That is a fucking amazing ending. Do free OJ. And if you want free orange juice, then you better head over to uh, subscribe button. Subscribe button. Subscribe. Thanks to Aeromir. House timers is a bad disease. We should cure it. Atomic Leon. Bento. Kane Rivers. Calm Luke. Cosmic Dega. Crystal X Bunny. Frozen Spaghetti. G3 Om. Gub. Stargazer. Gioni Snare. Yorison. Helio. Hunter Pearson, Hummus, Isaiah Alford, Jace LaRue, K99, Kamui, Lilac Moon, Mirak55, Native5, Omega Waffles by the way, Patrick Case Randolph, Rocky Road with Sprinkles, Sean City Navy Gaming, Tieran Stills, Trinity Martin, Val Explicit, Victoria, Wyatt Lime. Thank you guys so much.